So, hi, my name's James McLaughlin, and I'm the editor of Car Design News, and I'm here with... Simon Losby. Who is the VP of Design at Hyundai, and um, congratulations are in order, Simon. Envision 74 has scooped the concept car of the year at Car Design Fantastic. Review 9. Yeah, awesome. Um, it's a very, very striking piece of design, where yeah. perhaps it might be interesting to hear where it came from. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate to represent an amazing group of people in the company who worked on this. Um, have to say, probably the real spark for this came from Sangup himself. So Sangup Lee, who I've worked with for many, many years, great friend, incredible talent, incredibly creative. And when, in October last year, our N performance division came to see us and said, look, we, we want to do two cars in a hurry. Um, and I said, have you got money? And they said, yes. Um, that Keep was the, the kickoff. Okay, you have money, we can do something. And Sangup had his sketches already. He already had sketches. He's wanted to do this car for some time. Right. And he had that, and we had a team, Bom Su Cho and Andy, who'll be here tonight, uh, those guys hands-on delivering this car. Um, from those first doodles, those first sketches, which was last October, um, by January, we, we had the full size done, basically. Um, I was really watching this happen with bits of input leaving it because the momentum was going so well and but the story was of our of our pony coupe from 74 yes and as we had George Esher Jujara visiting us recently and that was he was our first designer in the group and this was really the the legacy we have is even though we're quite a young company mm -hmm. um in some terms compared to the, the, the historic brands, let's say, compared to the startups, we're, we're quite an old company. So we have this legacy of the 70s, of the Pony, of the Pony Coupe. And the Pony Coupe design and that car, which nearly went to production, but didn't quite make it, which came, became the basis for the DeLorean. Yeah. Um, in Jajaro's own words, in his own website. Um, and so fascinating that we, we, we thought, well, actually, this is the time to redo this. Uh, yeah. and, but in a modern day context and hydrogen fuel cell and 650 horsepower rear wheel drive, who doesn't like that? And only water comes out of the back. And so amazing team that not a lot of people know that car was, we, we have two of them. One is a driving car. It's, it's a, we've given it to journalists to drive around racetracks. It's, it's not just a concept car. It's a fully functioning test bed for our high performance hydrogen fuel cell technology with I think it's got an 80 kilowatt battery as well as fuel cell. Um, and so it's a fascinating project to be part of because it's so extreme in its technology, its proportion. Many people don't realize how low that car is. You see it, it looks like it's a really low car. And a lot of people don't realize what a fantastic interior it has as well. It's hardly been seen. But um, Song Hyun, our interior designer, head of one of our teams in, in, in Nam Yang, he did a great job on this really gorgeous little pony inspired interior, super simple shapes. So, you know, it's credit to that, really to Sang Yup mm. and his vision and what he really saw as an idea. But then the whole team, who just rallied around in, in three months from zero to, to car, um, because the idea was so strong and the energy was so strong. I mean, it's an incredible looking thing, um, and obviously the, the, you know, the lead time is, is just rapid. Bizarre, you know. yeah. Um, it, but it does have, as you say, this kind of strong retro-futurist feel that is kind of, it, it pulls on the heartstrings, I feel, of, cer of a certain generation of people. I think it jumps over generations, that's the nice thing. It's, um, it, it's the, our generation of the, of the sort of the, the first pixel computer games generation mm -hmm. and the 70s. You know, Italian design in the 70s, I and mean, beat that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that character, but it's also Pony, which is our legacy. Um, but it's not only looking backwards, it's hyper-modern in its technology and its execution. And you fast forward to today, it's got a Minecraft touch to it. And for the generation in between, it's got a DeLorean touch to it. Or DeLorean has an Envision 74 touch to it. And so it's, yeah, it seems to be appealing across the board. And it's, I mean, just to, just to see it, to walk up to it, and to see it moving. To see, it's not just a static concept car. It's a flat out, tire screeching monster. <laughs> and that, 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 that has the credit there to our N team. Our N team, and you should see the, the sort of 3D printed um, uprights on that car. 3D printed aluminum alloy uprights and so many components which we're testing for really pushing our electrified N components to the extreme as well. Because we had the RN22E at the same time. So both these cars together are really helping our performance division convert into 
Yeah, electric propulsion, clean propulsion, clean performance. Um, you are, as, as a design team, on a bit of a roll at the moment, I think it's fair to say. Uh, so, I mean, we've seen these kind of interesting heritage projects, mm. heritage, um, uh, the Pony, yeah. the Grandeur yeah. Heritage yeah. as well, which is yeah. just an absolute, I mean, a fantastic, yeah. it's so much fun, yeah. even just to look at, like, astonishing looking thing. Particularly again, the interior is about as loose as it comes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's the, what's the secret to getting getting these these projects through? Get your designers having fun, and really inspire. Get get the infectious energy mm. of of enjoying it and celebrating design and celebrating having a go. And you had the pony heritage with the Dixie tubes. You had the grandeur heritage with just that that velour interior. Mm. And it's all of the teams having fun. The colour and trim team. Diana Kloster and her team really going for it with what can we create as an ambience. The interior team makes Kuhn so beautifully and the exterior team. So uh, for me, I'm just, I'm, I'm on this, you know, me, I'm going to let people get on with it. <laughs> um, really just a little bit of guidance, but wow, just letting that energy flow. Yeah. Uh, and that's, yeah, we've, it was a lot more to come as well. Well, it was certainly, I mean, you're certainly impressed the judges and you said there was something in it for everyone. It, the, 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 it was, um, it's a, it's a joint but our first ever with a very different um, uh, 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 car that's yeah. finished in first yeah. place alongside, yeah. which I think is is actually quite a strong quite testament to too. the breadth of design yeah. out yeah. there at the moment. But um, on a huge congratulations, basically to uh, to you and the team, Simon and to it's Sanya. It's to the team. It's really to the team, Sanya, Bomsu, Andy, Diana's lot. It's it's the whole group effort there of allowing the momentum to keep going and. and guiding it forwards, but honestly, a lot of it's hands off. The initial idea is so strong, execute that, and having amazing support from top management, right, really top management, to, to enable us to do these things and celebrate that we have a legacy, but we're not doing retro, we're looking to the future very much, and so, yeah, rock on, more to come. <laughs>